Hi, this is Nate from Master Blaster Angling. I just wanna go over a couple uh, quick how-tos with the knot needle. Uh, I've done a lot of shows and I see uh, customers, uh, when they first go to uh, grip the knot needle, they, they don't grip it correctly and there can be some confusion. At first, this is somewhat of an awkward grip, but as you uh, practice with it and get used to it, it becomes second nature. But I see a lot of people try to put the knot needle in their hands like this, and that's not gonna be very feasible to pull the slide back. You wanna get it high up into your finger so you can manipulate the slide like this. So you kind of hold it like you would a pistol, and then you just grab it and slide the slide back. Um, if you are a potential customer that may have some severe arthritis or weakness in your hands, um, when you order, uh, you can put in the notes, please, please let me know that because I can get a lighter spring on the knot needle for you um, so that it's easier to pull the slide back. But currently the, the spring that I sell the knot needles with is a, is a pretty sturdy spring because I wanted it to have a really, really good grip uh, on the line so you didn't end up uh, having it come off your line while you're tying knots. Uh, the other thing I wanna add is, I just tried it the other day. I put the badge clip holder, which comes with the knot needle, and I put it on a zinger, which does not currently come with the knot needle. And this made all the difference in the world uh, when attaching the zinger to my vest and then to be able to pull the knot needle out and then you can uh, take it off with one hand and then let your zinger go back and then you just uh, stick your line through the hole and that slot is two millimeters by six millimeters long so it's not really hard to find that slot with your line. So it makes it really easy to grab. Um, and then when you're done tying your knot, you just pull the knot needle off, grab it with your zinger, and then let it go back on your vest. So uh, remember, you wanna keep the red cap, which is there to protect your hands from the very sharp nail knot tool edge here. Don't lose that red cap, uh, but that red cap you want high up into your the base of your finger so you can get that grip and pull the slide back, just like that. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but after a couple minutes of using it, it becomes second nature and it's very, very easy to use. I was just using this uh, up in the mountains of Silverthorne, Colorado. It was 35 degrees and the wind was howling uh, and I had no issues tying knots because the knot needle gave it that weight to be able to uh, swing around for your clinch knot and then you just drop the um, knot needle through and the wind doesn't affect it, cold weather doesn't affect your knot tying tool, uh, knot tying uh, because of this tool. So I highly recommend you check out all my instructional videos. Just remember with the new knot needle that's out, you no longer have to take your line and wrap it around. You just take your line and stick it through and grab it like that. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos and I hope you uh, strongly consider buying a knot needle if you struggle or get frustrated with tying any fishing knot, whether it be a fly fishing knot or a regular standard um, knot for bass fishing or whatever. Um, it will help with any type of fishing. And uh, again, I encourage you to watch all the videos on my website at thenotneedle.com. Thank you for listening.